Hey, my name's Nathan. I'm a sophomore here. I got uh, blindsided on this trip, to be honest. I, I came into it like, awesome, we get to do the prayer room stuff. I'm not really good enough to do the, the stuff on stage here in Kansas City, but I, wanna, I can go to Dallas and do it. Like, that's, that's cool. So that's, I was excited for that. Um, so I was excited for that, but uh, to be honest, the most powerful moment for me, and I think it was a, there, there's moments in your life that are like, that you, you can look back at and you can say, okay, it's, there's something that happened in that moment that, that, that I was different from that point forward. And I have probably three or four of those moments in my life, but I, I want to go back to what Erica said, watching the prayer room have to close at 11 p.m., it's something that I wish our whole community could experience because I will never be the same after watching that, after experiencing that, after watching the, the, the worship leader the, in the last moments before we have to close down. She can't even keep singing because she's crying. She's saying, Jesus, you're worthy of 24-7, and we have to stop. We have to stop right now. And I, I can't, we can't overemphasize this. The entire, the entire room was just weeping, and I, was, I felt like I was, re, I was rehabbing these conversations that I thought I already had with the Lord. Would I be willing to, to waste my life to build this prayer room, to, to build the prayer movement? Would I be willing to waste my life to make him famous, even if that's like giving up my prophetic promises or prophetic, like, my destiny? Would I truly choose the one thing? See, a lot of us have been called here to be IOPU students or like our stories of how we got here were really significant. But then there comes a time where we have like options to move on. And I've just felt this phrase whenever I was, when I was in that moment watching the prayer movement or the prayer room close, that phrase that, that Jesus said about Mary of Bethany, she said, Mary has chosen the good portion. It was the emphasis that she chose to do this. I've been, I, my story of how I got here is pretty significant. And but it was honestly, part of it was like, not my choice, I feel like. Like, I, I, at some point, I, I kind of got on board and, and got here. But now I have this opportunity. Like, I, I, I felt the Lord say that he's done the things that he's wanted to do in, in me in this place. And, and I can go on if I want to. And it's like, what if I chose to stay what if I chose to sit at his feet? What if I chose it? And there's something about choosing it, man. I will never be the same after watching the prayer room close. And I want to, I, I, uh, right there, then again, with the Lord, I thought I had already said this, but I read, just dedicated. I, I will dedicate my life, Jesus, to making you famous, even if I never am. And I, I can say that this trip has changed my life. That moment has changed my life. And I'll look back at it and say, I was different from that point forward. I really wasn't expecting that to happen.